Hi, it's me, Pam Vinny, and today is July 27th. We have our little Mary Inglebright calendar ever forward. Yes, we just keep moving forward, don't we? Look at that little bunny up there. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to move forward today. And um, continuing like embellishing and finishing our pockets and things. So, uh, yeah, I do have a little, a few things a little bit kind of prepared because uh, I just kept going after the last video. So I just have a few things clipped in place. I have my little, um, these are the cut apart parts from the Butterfly Wishes bow bunny uh, kit. And then there's her paper pad and then there were I have some of these chipboard stickers too so um, I decided instead of putting that pocket at the front I just put it in the back here so you have a fabric matching fabric pocket here um, and then I found this I'm sure I have more cards with butterflies but I found this one so I'm going to put that in here don't know if it's staying there uh, I think I'm going to add this here and this is that a hummingbird no I think I was going to add this someplace else oh no there's a hummingbird here too so I think I'm going to add this here. And place it like that. Yeah, I think that'll work. Uh, let's see if my hot glue gun is heated up. And this has like a sticky back. I also have some smaller ones, but I think I like that one because it also had the little hummingbird there. So let's check out our glue gun. See if we got some hot glue. There we go, we're cooking with gas. Whatever that means. Okay. And then this little piece here. Oh, my squeaky chair. And then I'm, I'm wanting this to lay flat, I believe. Here. And then I think I will use hot glue on this. And we are enough. You are enough. That's right. That we are. We need to remember that, don't we? Okay. It's a cute little embellishment. And then, you know, I will keep going back and forth until I just feel like um, you know I've got it I had this paper pad and I was thinking I could put it has this butterfly at the top maybe I tear off some papers of that cut it down and maybe pretty in here so I could just cut it down. Will it fit in this pocket? If it doesn't, uh, we'll put it someplace else. So think about this. Cut off the little tulips. They could be used somewhere else. Yeah. 
Oh, this chair. Squeaky. I think a little bit. And I could staple them all together too. And that's kind of pretty because it has the like a blue butterfly there. In that pocket. What else did I think I'd do? Um, and I just have these uh, just be you and I thought it was kind of pretty tucked in here. I'll do more but uh, I will see but for now I just kind of have it tucked in there. Um, here this was from a little calendar book. Uh, this one addresses and I used with that Marjolaine Bastin. I love her artwork. So I pulled them out and then I used a couple of those pages that had butterflies on them. So yeah. I think I have them all torn out but uh, with the pages. I mean with her illustrations is what I'm saying. Then I'll come back to this, or I could. Um, could add a little something here. Let's see, these are the chipboard pieces. This little. This might look pretty. I don't know. Maybe I'll just do the butterfly here. I think I need, um, what I might add is, um, what do you call it? Cheesecloth. Let me see if I got some. I have some. I do have some here. And I pulled out a couple little doilies too, so... I think a little snip of this. I think just a little bit. Then if I put the butterfly there. Okay. A little hot glue there. I think we'll just add that right there. It's pretty. And I think I'm going to glue this too. And, you know, I'll keep coming back, of course. I'm filling, but for now. Uh, this is, yeah, what I tore. You know, I could add um, just name and phone numbers too in here. I do need to cut them down, so um, let's cut that down real quick. Feels a little cooler today, but I think it should warm up a little bit. There we go. So we got a little name and address, just something kind of fun. And I don't know if it'll go right in here, but I'm gonna put it here for now. Okay. 
Okay. I need something here. Uh, I have the chipboard. I really like that little uh, B in the little vase. It's pretty. I could make this a little diagonal pocket. Also, I have uh, these from a butterfly book. Wouldn't that be pretty? Butterfly gardens. I wonder if I cut around here and put that. I could, hmm, that's not gonna fit totally. Um, hmm. Also have this fun page. I just think that would be fun as a tuck, this flower. I'm going to fussy cut this out. Okay, <clears throat> I decided to uh, cut around this page instead of the thistle. So I cut this cosmos and then from here I cut the I don't know how to pronounce that it's like a butterfly bush Butria. and then this would be pretty for a tuck and this could kind of hold it too or it could be just decorative so going to just glue it and this is a nice thicker book page it's from a butterfly book i can go there and then we'll just maybe glue here I'm not sure if I want to go to any other place, so we'll start with this. My stomach is growling. Sorry about that. Yeah, and then that will be able to tuck a few things. Um, okay, so we've got that. Looking cute. And then here I'm going to attach this, I believe. So that can open up for more writing. And this could be a belly band. So this is just a leftover piece that we had cut. It's cut off from our 12 by 12. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> So I'm going to go this to here. And that will become a belly band. But then on this side, this can open up and then you have more journaling here. I may come by with a little punch yet for the edges. And then here, from that butterfly uh, calendar address book, I tore out the B for butterfly, and I did trim it down. B for butterfly. And then I just clipped it on this Edith Holden page 
So you have a little interest here. And to figure something out here. Okay, what else did I do? Okay, here I am, I, uh, I'll have some fabric I thought would be pretty for pockets. And I did a little stitching, a little leaf stitching along here. So I'm thinking this could go here. So I'll make sure it doesn't interfere with the butterfly. I don't think it will. So let's put that here. Really goes through the glue fast. It's going to show a little bit here, and I'll add some, you know, lace or something. Or I just mainly want to get it straight. But a little give, so things will fit in there. And then I'll do the other side, too. Okay, those are pretty pockets with the little um, ferns. This would be pretty, too, on here. I may add that. Or I could add this like a tag. That would be pretty too, but I'm not at that point to do a lot of uh, tags right now. Here, I found this in the another book. I folded it in half. It's my Florida Gardener, Gardener's Journal. And it just has different... Uh, I don't live in Florida, but I can still use these pages. There's a cute little bee. You could fussy cut things out. And in that book, there was this hummingbird. It says Garden Notes. And there's a little hummingbird in here. So I thought that would work well. So I'm going to add that. And then there's this hummingbird. <clears throat> that I was thinking somehow could be here. Thinking like this, but I need to glue this down first. And then I will ink this a bit. Well, if you can hear those pretty birds outside the window, they are singing. Okay, so I'm thinking putting this here, see that little hummingbird? But I need to reinforce part of this wing here you see right here 
because you know you're going to be putting things in and out and this is a, a, a little cardstock but it's not a real thick cardstock i think i want it going like that so i will just need to add backing here so i'm just going to put the cardboard there thicker cardstock and then I will trace around. Uh oh, did it just move? Yes, it did. And then, um, Actually, I think I'm just going to go like this, glue it, and then cut around. That would be easier, wouldn't it? Okay, well, let's do that then. So I will do most of the wing. Like so. And then I will just cut cut around the hummingbird wing. So that way it will have a little more stability when you're moving whatever's in the pocket in and out. Otherwise, his poor wing would be bent in no time. Okay, let's do that. And we'll continue to ink just a bit. Make sure this is all glued down. Okay, so now this will be strong right there. So let's go there. I think there. Let's see. I think I want it like that. Hey, there you go, little hummingbird. And then I want to ink up to this, or uh, glue up to that point, that part down. Okay, there we go. Here's a little hummingbird card too, but that might be too much hummingbird right there. I think this is cute. So I know I want that in there. Okay, so that's what we have so far. For that and then here I have sewn there's a little hummingbird there there's a little banner that was part of the butterfly kisses and then I just had these scraps laying around I thought this would be fun to add there bring some of those colors over
and let's see what else we can do for a minute. Okay, I think here. Mm, this thicker paper, a tag would be pretty. Um, I have this sticker, thicker, thicker sticker. I thought I'd maybe use it for a tuck. Well, how would that work though? I had. I know what I can do. I can get some of this paper. Let me grab that paper. Well, I didn't get the exact paper, but I found this. Simple Stories Country Harvest. I could make a little... I could make a torn pocket. Just tear. that down and then you could add something like this here um let's see what else can we put something behind it or something you know, this I have to tear differently because it's a little too thin. Okay, I do know I want this. So... We'll glue this for the pocket. And I just think it's going to need something else, and I don't know. That would be kind of fun with more texture. I think I kind of like that. You know, I mean, I could do that, but... I don't know. That's pretty too. Maybe, maybe I just leave it like this and I can always add something else. I could cut out a cool butterfly. You know, I could cut out this really cute little jar too. Okay, I'm going to add this. I think that's what I'm going to do. I mean, it does have stickiness, but I think I'll just, I'm just making it a little more sticky. That still gives it some fun interest, and uh, it's dimensional. I'm going to put that in here for now. I think this would be pretty, but I think I'd rather have this for a tuck. Um, I could add, you know, a couple butterflies that are dimensional here and here, but I'm not sure. So if that's the case, then I move on. So let's see. And then here I just found this uh, tag and I will add more. Maybe that would be pretty. 
and I am thinking because this is so pretty this uh, calendar page it brings some of the pink in and look at that bee it's, it's just like it and it's from the kit so or from the paper pad so I thought if I brought in this little bee over and it's got pink in it how cute would that be And then the jar has a tuck. Here. And then I thought this was kind of cute. I mean, I'm going to do more with these tags, but for now. Here's some, this is a graphic 45. It's pretty too. We'll see. I'm just going to put that in here for maybes. I'm not going to put it all the way down because I don't want it to get glued. Hey, was there anything else? Because time is running short. Um, I did hot glue this across and that pretty, that piece of um, embroidery. I found this card would be pretty in there. I'm going to add this across. Here. And I will be back. This is our just the first go through, you know, to be doing more. It's kind of pretty there. This can be a Tuck here. Okay. Quickly see, we made this. Let's see what else. Oh, I just did add a little uh, of my dyed paper doily. And I know I'm going to add this somewhere here. Perfectly imperfect. That was pretty. And then here, uh, my friend Stephanie with coffee, paper, scissors, I did a couple, I think she had enough room to do three um, envelopes. And, um, you know, that's always a good reminder to use that. In the so I'm thinking about gluing them down like this. And um, then you'd have your, you could put your things in here for a double pocket and then you could you know put a tag all the way down i th i don't know do these need some i think i mean i know they need something but um do i just want to emboss them the envelopes i might tear and put a few things on here you know tear papers then oh i just added this um another one from that garden book real pretty but it looks it has the same color butterfly wing next is oh i have another envelope here that i'll glue down and this is so pretty and it you know goes with the browns here and the uh i just like this envelope here and I think I should be able to tuck it in here. I will just, I think I'll just do it on the two sides. Because otherwise it'd be pretty tight. Just those two, two uh, sides here, and then I'll be able to put tags in here. That'd be pretty too. Might do something with that, so we'll just put that in here. 
for now. And then we have that. And then just, I'm going to hot glue that. It's just a perfect piece for here with that little bit of blue and the little pink. And then that's probably all we have for today, but I'm probably going to keep going. So I'll just, uh, you know, just come back and show you what I've done or, you know, kind of like I did today. Hopefully that works. So yeah, that's a belly band. That's really pretty there. A little piece there, make your pocket. And then I found this paper I thought would be pretty for some type of a tag. It has these colors in it. So I think that is probably it for today. But um, if you haven't already, I would love it if you would subscribe or like or comment. So they're always greatly appreciated. I appreciate you. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.